<gasps> it's working. Dave, you've done it. I wasn't going to do a video today because we're just clearing out the fence line. But something I think might be a bit interesting is we've got the old existing posts which snapped off because they've rotted, have rotted into concrete where they've just concreted the wood straight in. They haven't put a bracket in. So we're going to try a technique Dave's found online where we're going to screw some big screws into the wood itself. Lots of screws into here, really large ones. And then we're going to try and leverage the rotten wood out, leaving the existing concrete post bracket so that we can put the concrete in. Because otherwise we're going to have to dig out half a tonne of concrete on these two here. Dave, do you want to explain how it works? You have to, so speak, you have to speak loudly. So a fulcrum base, so yeah, this is going to be your lever. That's going to be the pivot point. And in there, a lot of screws, long screws into what's rotten wood, but a lot of screws to get a bit of friction. Hold it there. Rope around it, stick rope around this. But we're going to I'll get Carl to lift it up when I tie the rope around this. Yeah. And then all that wood chock will go. I reckon just the weight of this will ease it up slowly. Like a counter lever, yeah. putting the pressure on it. Two foot of wood in there, but yeah, it's like a fulcrum, isn't it? Yeah, I've Can never heard of this. Is it a fulcrum long enough I can move the world? Yeah, I think so. I've never heard of this technique, so that's why I'm interested in to see if this actually works. But uh, the other option, like I was saying, Dave, is we're going to have to dig those concrete things out, and they're huge. Yeah. And I mean, these are the screws. So the idea is you put these into the wood itself, into the rotten post, as many as you can in through there with a rope attached and then we lever it out. That's through the actual, you've gone through the rope? Yeah, through the webbing. How many do you reckon you're going to get in there? At least six or seven, yeah? Yeah. I propose just lipping that under there. You reckon that's enough? Don't oh. know. I think it will give it a quick whirl. Okay. No, it needs more, more of an angle. It's not coming, is it? No, it's, it's pulling, but it needs more of an angle. No, it just snap the. Uh... Damn. Doesn't matter if it pulls that rope in like that. Plan. A bit of one, not much. Right, so those three there, what I'm thinking now is with this, start binding, binding it around. It. You're gonna want me to lever it up now? No, not yet. We'll get the. Have you gone through one or are you gonna go through Just, all of them at I'm the same time? Everyone individually because they're all slightly different lengths. So at least they'll have a nice tension. I'm just worried, look. Like... tension on all. So one. But if I raise it up, then you're working from the, from that point. What do you mean? Oh, right. no, 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 when you, li when you lift it up, I'll, I'll, I'll take the tension off it. Right, okay. We're going to go for broke, yeah, Dave? But you've webbed it across, so it's over three times. We're at an angle, nice. and then you're going to pull down, and I'm going to see if it budges. Right, slowly. I think you need to pull this towards you a little bit because it's pulling at an angle. So if I hold, oh, right, go on then, go for broke. Right, be careful because if this goes, I'm going to support this concrete. Thing. No, let me move. Oh, it's not budging. Keep going. You need to. Ah, it's pinged off. Element foul is not budging, so now we're going to have to dig it out by hand. Dig out all the concrete. The, logic is there. the logic's there, but the method's not working today. But we tried. Right, so this is us week two, and this is our next attempt at trying to take the post out without the concrete. What have you changed up, Dave? Just bought these little, uh, little marine little anchor points. They're cool. So. That was our issue yesterday, trying to find a decent anchor point, so 
I'm hoping this is a dresser. Have you got a stronger rope today as well? Uh, no, I don't. Oh. I looked for a chain, I could not find a chain. But the only, the only place it was snapping was where a screw went through it. Yeah, because you weakened the yeah, so strap. It should be right. Yeah, go for it. Right. Fingers crossed. Uh, it's not going to snap. It's you've got some move, movement, but I think it's so rotted in. Keep going. No, no. Yeah, <laughs> that's not going to work. We tried it. That's a fail. What did we do wrong? I mean that wood's not even rotten. No. So what we what we saying? The friction between the concrete or the fact that the wood's expanded or a mixture of both? I think it's damp and expanded and just wedged in tight. And there's no way of getting that. So we're gonna have to sledge it out. It's a bit gnarly though on top of it. It's all been chewed up. All right, let's do this. It's working. Dave, you've done it. <laughs> <laughs> Never give up. Beauty. Oh, I'm so excited. This one we find out it's five foot long. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, you've actually, look at that. Oh, never give up. And you drop your phone down. <laughs> never give up. So that was a fulcrum technique, but we had to take a bit off the top. I don't know whether we slightly loosened it or whether we got yeah. the wet swollen bit or... Because this is wet, this is really damp. Yeah. But it's worked. You are a genius of a Welshman. Oh, just, uh, just, 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 just brilliant. I'm just... Uh, no, I got nothing heroic to say. <laughs> Excellent job.